Oh, Shalom, Rastafari. This is Wyndham Yadin here again. And we want to continue to bonfire responsibly. <laughs> you know, Isat mean intelligence. Ba'amorinya in Amharic. Isat mean intelligence. And here we add, um, let's just bring this right here, Rastafari sabbatical. So we, we, we saw this picture when we was recording some of the posts that um, hopefully by the time you see this, some of them will be up there, others would be to come. This is off of the Facebook and most likely on the Ethiopian World Net, um, on the Ethiopian uh, World Net uh, page, right, the World Net site. And once again, you know, give thanks to our brother Tobia. Um, we accept the apologies, you know, concerning those matters. Um, it is love in the house of the Father that proves that we are his children. Now, right here, if you see, right, Michelle Obama, and maybe I got to take this particular picture out of its moorings. That's a nautical term being used right there. Take the ship out of its moorings, right, and actually, uh, because it's over here, if you see it, here it goes. Here goes the picture over here, some of the pictures from the from the videos, from the postings and videos. And let's post this picture over here for a moment. Let's post this picture right right about here. Now Michelle Obama, I don't know what her middle name is, right? Michelle Obama. Now a lot has been said about uh Michelle Obama. Some of it probably true, some of it probably obviously false. I think uh, Manning, and, and please don't get on this video talking about your personal whatever peeves with this person or that person. You could just do your video and put it out there on your own channel, right? Um, and if, it's, if you're bold enough, then give your, you know, your your name, you know what I'm saying? Just speak the truth. If it's true, you will get credit for that. Now, right here, you can see that she has her hands in the in the um what some will call the Trinity of His Majesty, you know, so forth and so on. Now, now we know that, but but what does this mean? Is in other words, to Michelle, as Atlas says, the fist bumper, um, Obama. <laughs> You know, what does this mean to her? You understand now, the, the, the writing says we know what the enemy is capable of, right? We also know the truth. Be wise as serpents, harmless as dove, as, as dove, as a dove, right? Um, be wise as serpents, right? Wise as, remember, as a serpent, Moses lifts up the serpent, right? So the son of man, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Right, our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right, so when we are mature, we I'm reasoning with the mature. I know some say, Oh, the hate or love. I see her being a little different than Obama in that sense. Right, even if we invoke Hosea, right, if we invoke Hosea, I would not punish your, the daughters for such things because they're separated with whores because the men are not manning up. Right? Remember, Eve was deceived. Adam must have known what he was doing willingly. But what does this mean if Michelle, the fist bumper, who now we could say the Trinity of His Majesty Flasher, Obama, in a sense? I mean, is this a kind of a, a, a kind of a um, bait and switch or something like that? You know, is she trying to say I'm Rasta, or has this sign of His Majesty? We know it's been co-opted elsewhere. Right, so this is to speak a little bit. I wanted to actually speak on Michelle from before, but everything must be and is to be in its proper in its proper time. Mm -hmm. Let's just go to this page right here. I know that she has a cousin. I think he's a cousin, right, Michelle Obama, who is a black Hebrew Israelite, right, and his name is Fun. Uh, um, is it is it Funaye? Uh, capers, well, the the Google, you understand, uh, what is it, CIA, you know, they'll correct, you know, they'll correct us, you know what I mean, because, you know, they, they gather all of this, you know, they gather all of this. I guess their books are going to be open, too, in the judgment, 
as well. And some of it, some of it, WikiLeaks has contributed in part to some of the books being open. So now, while that while that loads up right there, let's continue to kind of um, opine, if we will. You understand? We're not going to be pissy. You understand, Mr. Bill O'Reilly? You understand? Because some things we need to really reason out in the fullness. Now, this is this is another another site right here. Does this thing ever fully come up? Okay, this thing didn't didn't come up again. Let's let's go again. Anyway, she has a she has a a a, a cousin who is um, one of the. Um, you could say one of the ears, in a sense, of Rabbi Wentworth Arthur Matthews' uh, legacy. Now, you remember this right here, the Jews of, I think I have this book right here on the side. Put this right here, the Jews of Harlem. Take a snapshot of that, the Jews of Harlem. So, is there a connection here? Is there probably some connect? I mean, after the godless and creeping coup against his imperial majesty, all of us who know the truth, right, definitely need to be wise, right, as serpents, according to the master that spoke these words, harmless as a dove, because truly the lion of Judah prevail, prevaileth, right? Not shall prevail, has already prevailed. Right? We're just going through winter. Mm -hmm. This is winter. You know, what His Majesty has sown, right, is going to be reaped. The victory will be reaped by the once lost but now found lost sheep. So if we, we have that, I think it's coming in right now. It's a little slow. Our Internet is a little slow right here. The machine probably, you know, they always say virtual memory. You know, when we talk about His Majesty, they act all forgetful, like the machine. Uh, virtual memory running, right? So here, Funaye Campers, okay, you see right there? Capers. Capers Funaye, right? Oh, Capers Funye, Funye, I think Funye, excuse me, Funye, right? Um, Capers C. Funye Jr., pronounced Fune, Fune, born in 1952. So he was like two years old when his majesty came to visit America in that 50, 54. Is an African-American dot, dot, dot. It says uh, Fune, right, pronounced, that's what they say, pronounced Fune, is the first cousin once removed of Michelle Obama, wife of the 44th uh, president of the United States. Now it says right here that Michelle Obama has a uh, has a rebbe or a rabbi in her family from forward.com. Well, what do we say? Forward ever, backward never, right? But for I and I, as Rastafari, is according to the will of our father, Abba Kedus Kedus Kedus. Now, Michelle Obama, wife of the, this is from 2008, wife of the Democratic presidential nominee and uh, Capers uh, Fune, spiritual leader of a mostly black synagogue, I think that's in Chicago. Barack Obama's rabbi, Capers uh, Fune. This is from 2009. This is all dated, mind you. This is all dated. You know, when I say dated, you know, things change. Remember what happened to Jeremiah Wright, you know, or maybe he threw Jeremiah Wright and picked him up. I, I, I don't really over all of that. But this is just a, kind of a report, you know. I'm just bringing a report right here in case you didn't pick up on it elsewhere. You know, saying you could pick up on it right here, and you know, Jah gives the word, and great is the company that publishes. So, like his cousins Michelle and Barack Obama, right? Capers Fune, the head of the of one of the largest black synagogues in the U.S. United States, wants to. Uh, I'm gonna have to click on that later. You see how slow the machine. You know, the internet is. So we're just moving along the timeline, right? The timeline, right? Black Rabbi um, Capers Fune. Now, what's very important about this Black Rabbi connection is this particular book right here, The Black Jews of Harlem. And what is said in this particular book by the head of the Hebrews, the Ethiopian Hebrews, in the Western Hemisphere. Um, Rabbi Wentworth Arthur Matthews, 
needs to be kept in heart and mind, right? He says right down here, it is from Addis Ababa that I derive my authority as head of the black Jews in the United States. We are Africans or Ethiopian Hebrews. That kind of narrows the scope right there. Generally speaking, Africans, black, you know, on that level, but, but, but more specifically, Ethiop Ethiopian Hebrews, excuse me. Black Rabbi Capers of uh, Fune invites diversity into the uh, Jewish faith. All right, because you know we always, you know, the head. You see, because the Moshia is so important, right? Because before, see, he says you be the head if we hear and hear his word. You understand? Does um, um, Capers Fune recognize that connection and that fact? Does Michelle Obama? Um, the fist bumper. I just. You know, I had to say that right there. Does she recognize that particular fact? So um, those who can follow up on this particular story right here and bring forth a report, you know, a fair and balanced report right here and broadcast it, hopefully we'll be able to host, you know, these on the Rastafari Groundation um, site, which is coming up. So this is to basically respond to this particular photo right here, right, where she um, flashes the you see, the Trinity or the sign that His Majesty revealed. They they want to call this Masonry. This is from Freemason, and always give the so-called um, Europeans the credit for what they misappropriated. So it's this site right here that is um, coming online. Let's bring this up right here. We're still it's, it's still in uh, it's still in progress right here. So. It's very curious, you know, it's, it's indeed very curious. Even though we are curious and we can't really fully, we don't have all the intel, right, to fully um, um, be conclusive, you understand, you know, to be conclusive, or yes is this, no is that. We, we still should pray for, you know, pray for these ones that we live a peaceful, you know, life in all godliness to the glory of the King of Kings and his Christ. So, brothers and sisters, a little bit more to come on this particular note and issue, right, right here, Michelle Obama flashing the, the hand sign of his Imperial Majesty, Michelle Obama having um, a uh, ear, in a sense, of the first um, um, Ethiopian Hebrew rabbi for we Falashes of the West. That's who we are. We're the Falashes of the West. Those brothers over there and sisters, the tribe of Dan, that's just one tribe. That's just like, what, 112 or something? But then in Revelation, Dan is not mentioned. It's just kind of curious right there. Either it's if it's true, the consequences for if it's false, then what tribe do they represent? Um, I would say there's much, a little more link to Judah and Benjamin probably also a portion of Dan as well. So Michelle Obama right here, pray for, you see the power of prayer is so very important. You understand? Some take, take it weak because they're weak in the good news of the King of Kings. And burn fire responsibly. This is Wendem Yadin reporting for Rastafari Sabbatical and the Ethiopian World Net. These are channels, but the foundation line of Judah's society overcome Babylon's um, society. It is written. Shalom Ras Teferi.